Mr. Labrush, this is your former wife. Yes. And I assume you're her mother. Correct. And you are suing both of them because, from what I read, after your divorce, your former wife was arrested and you bailed her out. It is your claim at the request of both her mother and herself, and that both of them agreed that they would be responsible for the bail if you posted the initial bail, which I think you said was $1,000. Is that right? Mostly. Uh, Tell Nita, me where it's mistaken. It's a slight mistake. Nita Wilms did specify that she would not pay the bill, but she would talk to me, keep in communication, so that we could make sure that Molly paid the bill. And Molly promised that she would pay the bill. Molly is your former wife. Molly is my former wife, yes. Okay. First, let's backtrack a bit. Ms. LeBrench, what were you arrested for and when? Petty theft in um, 2008. Is that the only time you were arrested? No, ma'am. Is that the instance that we're talking about here? No, ma'am. Well, when were you arrested on the incidents that we're talking about here? In 2013. What were you arrested for? Violation of probation, drug-related. I, I was dirty test. And what kind of jail time were you looking at? Uh, about 180 days in jail. Had you ever been incarcerated before for that um, period of time? No. Up until that time, what was the longest period of time that you had been incarcerated? About a week. And how long had you and your husband been divorced in 2013? We, we legally separated in 2001, and I believe our divorce finalized within a year to two years later. And you have children together? Correct. How many? Two. And they live with your husband? Correct. Former husband? And Correct. they've always lived with your former husband? Uh, not always, no. When, when, they? They, when they were young, they lived with me up until 05, um, when I was arrested for a DUI. He was I'm, awarded custody of the children. Correct. And they've remained with him since? Yes. I assume that you do not pay child support, is that correct? I do, actually. It was just ordered. Up until this year, which is 2016, were you paying child support? Yes, I was. When? I, I was paying in 2000. 14, I believe, um, I was paying for about a year, $100 a month, $50 per child. And it came directly out of my disability. What's the nature of your disability? Uh, I have um, physical disabilities, um, back problems, sciatic nerve damage, um, other disabilities. How much do you get from disability? Uh, approximately $928 a month. And when did that start? I applied for it in 99, but I was granted it in 04. How old are you? Uh, 49. Now. How much does she owe on her bond? Um, the number I have is uh, 4,786. Uh, I made a slight error. It's 4,871. Why didn't you pay the bail? I didn't have the money at all. Well, you have $928 a month. You have enough to pay something. That's barely enough to live on with rent, what, food. You're, well, you're absolutely correct. You were arrested for drug use. Correct. In 2013. Correct. For using drugs. Correct. That suggests to me that you had enough money to buy drugs. Okay. Well, if you have enough money to buy drugs in addition to your food, then you had enough money to start paying back your bail. Now, you got something. Drug addiction is an illness. I couldn't help myself. But now I read in your answer that you've been clean and sober for six months. Correct. Well, if that's correct, why don't you take the money that you've been using for your taxpayer money? that you've been using since 04, when you started to collect disability, and you were using it to buy drugs. Because if that's your only source of income, then you had to be using my money to buy drugs, mm -hmm. right? No, it was prescription drugs to also. Prescription medication, <laughs> too. So what? You're still using taxpayer money to fund your drug habit. And it's great that that burden has a apparently been lifted from you for the last six months, but now you have all that money left over. Now, were you ever arrested for anything other than prescription drugs? No. Were you ever violated for, you have that? I have six different things from like uh, El Dorado County only. There's more in Sacramento I don't have. 